Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be going through my World Cup 2018 predictions and giving you my thoughts exactly on where different teams are going to finish within their different groups and how to get through through the knockout stages as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below about all my predictions as well as yours as well. Let me know your thoughts about all that. Don't forget to try and hit 75 likes on today's video and I'd really appreciate that as well. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. That'd be absolutely fantastic. So, so close to 18,000 subscribers now. I'd really appreciate it clicking that button if you haven't already. Let's come to things. Let's start off with the first group, which is obviously Group A. You've got Egypt, Uruguay, Saudi Arabia, and Russia all in there. So between those teams, I think the first place team is going to be Uruguay. It's a little bit of a difficult one, this one. Obviously, Egypt with Mo Salah are going to be a good team, I imagine, in that group. I'm going to say Uruguay just got a bit more quality in there across the whole team. Then in second place, I'm going to go Egypt. Third place, I'm going to go Russia, the hosts. I think they're going to go into third. And then Saudi Arabia as our fourth team. So that is what I'm going to go for for Group A. It's a little bit of a tricky one. There's a few teams that could surprise you, particularly uh, Egypt. Um, obviously, with Mo Salah, like I say, if he's fully fit, then they could be really, really good. And also, you've got to bear in mind, Russia, the host nation, you never know. They could surprise a few people. So I'm going to go with that, but it could certainly be very different to that. Group B, however, is a little bit more tricky with the likes of Spain and Portugal in there. Portugal having won the Euros in 2016. I'm still going to go Spain as the top one, though. I'll go Portugal second. And it's between Iran and Morocco. Uh, not really too sure, to be honest. I'm going to just about say Morocco on that one, and Iran will finish in fourth, is what I'm going to do. Uh, Iran, I don't really rate, to be honest. Can't name any players, so we'll go with that. Morocco, I think, will just about finish in third, but between those two, it's difficult to tell. As for Group C, we've got Australia, we've got France, Denmark, and Peru all in there. So I'm going to quite obviously go France as top. I'd be very surprised if it's any other team. Then it's actually quite tricky, because all three of those teams, I think, are going to be competing for that second and third spot. So I think for second place, Denmark obviously have Ericsson, Nicholas Bentner, don't forget about him. Uh, Australia have Tim Cahill, is he still playing for Australia? I have no idea. Uh, and Peru have recently, I think, beaten Scotland, I think, 2-0, which isn't difficult. <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. Um, but I'm going to say it's between Denmark and Australia. I'm going to go with Denmark on that one, just about, with then Australia in third, I think. Although Peru could surprise a few. Do you know what? I'm going to be bold on this. I'm going to go Peru as third. I'm going to go Australia fourth instead. Bit controversial, I think, but I'm, I can't I can't really name too many Australian players. Moy, is he Australian? Yeah, we're, we're going to stick with that. It's a very, very tough one, actually, for that. Uh, other than France, obviously, the rest of the teams could really be interchangeable. Odds Group D now. We've got Iceland, Argentina, Croatia, and Nigeria. Another tough group, actually, to call for the top two, at least. Anyway, Argentina are pretty much the standout team. You'd expect them to qualify top. But then Iceland obviously did very well in 2016, as we know, unfortunately. Um, and then we've got Croatia, who are a very good side across the board. Nigeria, who have looked pretty good recently as well. So this is a tough one. I'm going to say Croatia second, Iceland third, then Nigeria. But it's so difficult to tell. Nigeria could surprise a few people again. So that's actually another tricky group. So onto Group C, where you can't really call the other teams that are in the, the other three spaces. Uh, onto Group E, we've got Serbia, we've got Brazil, uh, Switzerland, and uh, obviously Costa Rica as well. So Brazil, quite obviously, I think are going to finish top. I, I'd be very surprised if they weren't to finish top. Uh, and then below that, you've got the likes of Serbia and Switzerland, who I think are more likely to finish there. But you never know, Croatia again might surprise a few, as they did in the previous tournament. So I'm going to go with... Uh, so difficult between Serbia and Switzerland, though. I'm going to say the Swiss. I think it's close. And then I'll go Serbia, then Costa Rica is our fourth place team. Then going to Group F, we've got Germany, got Switzerland, Mexico, and South Korea as well. Again, the, the top team, I think, is pretty obvious, as it has been for the last few groups. We're going to go Germany. Very surprised if they want to finish top. And then I think, it, for me, it's between Sweden and Mexico. Sweden, I've actually done pretty well in the qualifying stages, even without Zlatan. Um, but I'm still going to say Mexico. Good feeling on Mexico. And then I'm going to say Sweden, then Kyrgyz Republic as our fourth team. So we'll go with that. Then Group G, this is the tricky one. Between Belgium, England, Panama and Tunisia. Now, I, it's obviously between the top two, I'd imagine, for um, Belgium and England. And I'm not really too sure which way to go. For me, I think England will draw against Belgium. And I think England will beat Panama and Tunisia. At least I hope that is going to be the case. I think Belgium will beat Panama and Tunisia. I think Belgium are going to score more goals. And I think they'll go top on goal difference. That's what I'm going to say. Belgium top, England second, Tunisia third, Panama fourth. Panama again, though. Another team that might surprise. I'm not really too sure what to expect from them. Then on to Group H. And this one is a little bit up for grabs for a few different teams, actually, as top spots. So it's between, for me, Poland and Colombia for the top place. Senegal and Japan, I think, will be surprised uh, to, to finish in top. So for me, I'm going to just about say... 
think we're just going to head to Poland, I think, just based on having Lewandowski up front. And obviously, Colombia have some good players as well. We've got Falcao in particular. But we're going to have Colombia second, Senegal third, and Japan fourth. And that is the group stage is done, I think. I'm pretty happy with what we've got here, I think, as well. It's very, very difficult to obviously know, but these are my predictions. Let's move on to knockout stages. Let's see who I think is going to win in each of these round 16 matches. So we have a situation where Uruguay play Portugal, France versus Croatia, Brazil, Mexico, Belgium, Colombia, Spain, Egypt, which will be a good match, uh, Argentina, Denmark, Germany, Switzerland, England, Poland. Not a bad draw, actually, England, Poland. I'll take that. Um, but yeah, we're going to start at the top here between Uruguay and Portugal. I'm going to say Portugal, just because they've got a bit more experience in the tournament now, having won the Europeans uh, in the last tournament. Uruguay, a very good side, as England found out, and uh, I think we're going to just about go Portugal. Very, very close match. France, Croatia, I'm going to say France, just a bit more quality, I feel, across the board. Uh, Brazil, Mexico, you'd expect Brazil. Belgium, Colombia... I was going to say Belgium on that one. I mean, if England were to finish top and they were to beat Colombia, then they'd go and play Brazil, which would be a very interesting game. For that reason, I'm hoping that we come, in, that we come second in a way, because I'm going to say Belgium to win that game. Spain versus Egypt, you'd expect Spain, although we never know what Salah can produce. Uh, Argentina, Denmark, I'm going to say Argentina. Germany, Switzerland, you've got to expect Germany. England, Poland, I'm going to back England to play against Germany in the quarterfinals. This would be one hell of a quarterfinal, uh, I think, but for all these different nations here, it's such good quarterfinals. Uh, to get into the semi finals, though, you've got Portugal versus France, and that is such a tough one. I'm going to actually say France to edge it, despite Portugal winning the Euros in 2016. I'm going to say France to win, and then Brazil, Belgium, you'd expect Brazil, I think. Spain, Argentina. Uh, Spain, I'm going to have to say Spain. And then England, Germany. I think England, Germany, I can't really go for England, I don't think it. It has to be Germany to go through, I think. I think they're the more likely team to beat us. Having said that, we did beat them not that long back. Um, remember, obviously, Harry Kane and then Eric Dyer's goals to beat Germany. So it's not beyond us, but I just think in tournaments, I'm going to go Germany. Uh, and then that'll mean that I have France versus Brazil in the semi-finals and then Germany versus Spain. Um, quite interesting semi-finals once again. Not particularly as different teams that you'd expect. They're quite standard teams uh, to get through, I think, into the latter stages. For the semi-finals between France and Brazil... Ah, oh, it's so difficult because France have such a good team, so do Brazil, but Brazil, you've just got a feeling, you know, the likes of Neymar, if he can produce, then he might well get them into the final. I'm going to say, based on consistency, I'm going to go with Brazil to go into the final, and then Spain versus Germany. I mean, this is ridiculous. Who's going to go through in this situation? Spain have such good squads, so do Germany. I just think I'm tempted to go Germany to go through. Spain have got Morata up front, Germany, who do they have up front? Muller, is he a striker? We've got that old guy from Bayern. This is too difficult to call. I'm going to just about say Germany, which is a bit controversial. I'm going to go with Germany. It's a bold one again. So it'll be Brazil versus Germany in the final. Obviously, we know what happened in that game, Brazil versus Germany before. And so I think it's going to be that game recreated for the final. And I'm going to say to win, uh, will Brazil get their revenge or will Germany do it? I'm going to say Germany to win the World Cup. And that is going to be my predictions for the World Cup. Germany to go through and uh, win it in the finals, I'm going to say. It's a very, very tough tie, though, that against Brazil. Uh, but that is going to be my set of predictions. You see the knockout stages there that I've gone with. Those are the different teams that I reckon will go through. That's the tournament tree, I reckon, as well. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section below. Very, very tough games to call here. And as you can see, England would end up getting through into the quarterfinals, which, to be honest, I don't think we can expect more than the quarterfinals. Semi-finals would be absolutely incredible for England given the squad we have and so I think quarterfinals would be an okay achievement uh, for us of course you always want to try and win the tournament but realistically I don't believe our squad is strong enough at all so quarterfinals wouldn't be too bad at all but uh, I'm pretty happy with the predictions I've gone with there I'm going to stick with what I've said let me know what you think in the comment section below do you think those predictions are absolutely ridiculous do you agree with some of them do you agree with all of them let me know your thoughts thank you all so much for watching if we could try and hit 75 likes and then I'd really appreciate it also please go ahead hit that subscribe button as well down below and that'd be absolutely fantastic too you could be my 18,000 subscriber uh, so let me know in the comment section if it is you thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time goodbye